This is just about the names and just wondering how would you, if you've got a repository and you want to identify someone, so disambiguation of names and what have you, how would you, would their username have to be the URI? Or the, Sorry, just uh, clarify what you're So if, if you want to have a user in a repository and you're saying this user is this person and what have you, so you can add this extra layer onto the repository of who the different people are. Um, in the names project, the name is I, the unique identifier is the uh, me mass app. Would, how would you link that to the names? Um, well, I mean, in terms of the actual, sorry, I'll grab this. In terms of our actual data model, we can store um, well, we can start the various name forms, so a name form used within um, a repository that we've pulled data from. We can also store um, their internal identifiers and link that up with our identifier if they make that available to us. Um, and vice versa, if, if there's a way for them to store our um, identifier in their system, then that can link back there. That's what I mean, sorry, adding value, like the repositories get the benefit of all the work you're doing as well. Yeah, exactly. So it's like a two-way thing, really. I mean, us getting data from them is only going to help um, increase our accuracy when we're trying to disambiguate these individuals. And it also, you know, is a benefit to them as well. Um, it depends a little bit on the data model of the repository that it can actually support multiple URIs itself. Um, I'm not, I have, I'm not quite sure, as say ePrints, I mean, it has a creator ID, but I'm not quite sure whether you can actually have multiple creator IDs within it. So that's something that's worth all discussing. But um, Names does provide a kind of same as service as well, because we do contain you know, multiple identifiers for each person. Any other questions? Like, can we just say thanks?